Позвольте начать заседание. Good afternoon, distinguished colleagues. May I declare the dissertation board for the PhD award, candidate of sciences, uh, open. Uh, we are going to consider the dissertation submitted by Konstantin Belousov, Business Social Responsibility, Sustainable Development Factor, Subjects 080001, Economic Theory 080005, Economics and National Econ Economy Management. I urge the audience to switch off their mobile devices. Thank you for compliance. The defense is broadcast live on St. Petersburg University website. Simultaneous interpretation into English is provided. May I inform you that according to federal law 148, Revision of Provision 4 of the Federal Law on Science and Research Policies in Petersburg State University and Moscow State University have been granted an exceptional title to independently award scientific degrees. Hereby, scientific degrees are awarded only in the subjects in scientific areas contained in the relevant scientific subjects register issued by the Russian Ministry of Education. A relevant resolution on the PhD awarding procedures in Petersburg State University is effective as of September 1, 2016. The present meeting of the dissertation board in fulfillment of the resolution is a pilot defense at the Faculty of Economics. May inform the audience that according to Paragraph 17, Section 3 of the Rules of the PhD Granting Procedure, the Dissertation Board is considered legitimate unless two-thirds or over of the appointed composition, but no less than four members are present at the meeting today. The composition is nine members. The quorum is there. According to paragraph 19, section 4, on the dissertation board meeting of the aforementioned rules of procedure, the time limit of the meeting is two hours sharp. So we have 120 minutes sharp. The agenda is as follows. I will also provide time allocations. First, a brief report of the chairperson on the documents submitted by the defendant in compliance with the requirements. Q&A session. A brief report of the defendant on the findings of the research. 15 minutes maximum. Questions to the defendant's report. Two minutes per question and defendant's replies. Presentation of the report submitted to the Dissertation Council. Members of the board take turns to announce their reports, focusing on elaborate argumentation behind their assessment, as well as questions and suggestions addressed to the defendant. Ten minutes per each member, five minutes, correction, five minutes only, because there are nine reviewers. General commentaries of the defendant address to the members of the board, ten minutes, at the end after the declaration of all reviews. Open discussion and statements by members of the audience who are not members of the board.
five minutes per speaker. All willing to take the floor should register in the registration list beforehand. This is a prerequisite to have the floor. Defendants reply to statements of the audience who are not members of the dissertation board. Five minutes maximum. Statement of the research supervisor. Three minutes maximum. Five minutes break before open voting on awarding the defendant with the aspired academic degree. The discussion between members of the dissertation board is not broadcast online. Open voting by name. Broadcast online. And lastly, concluding statement by the defendant. Two minutes maximum. Questions as to the procedure? No questions? Okay, let's start implementing the agenda. My statement goes first. The dissertation submitted by Mr. Bila Usuf, subject 080001, economic theory and economics and national economy management was approved for defense under resolution March 23, 2017. The composition of the dissertation board was approved under resolution 2299 dated March 23, 2017. Alexander Dubiansky, Doctor of Economics, Professor, Chairman of the Economic History and Economic Thought Department. Alexander Kanaev, Doctor of Economics, Docent, Professor, St. Petersburg State University. Victor Lizanov, Doctor of Economics, Professor, Chairman of the Economic Theory Department, St. Petersburg State University. Alexander Larkin, Doctor of Economics, St. Petersburg State University. Vadim Pashkus, uh, Doctor of Economics, Docent. Yuri Miachin, Doctor of Economics, Professor of the Management Department, St. Petersburg State University. Grekova, Galina Grekova, Doctor of Economics, Professor. Uh, Yaroslav, the Wise University, Bella Bataeva, Professor, Doctor of Economics, Financial University under the Government of the Russian Federation, Konstantin Golubi, Dof, Doctor of Economics, Professor of Marketing and Logistics Faculty, Belarus State Economic University. The defendant submitted the following documents to the Supervision Center. Application address to Rector Kropochev accompanying the dissertation submitted on February 20, 2017. Report by the research supervisor, Doctor of Economics, Docent, Economic Theory and Social Politics in Petersburg State University, Tatiana Sudova. List of publications, eight papers, inclu including uh, papers on the uh, register of the High Attestation Commission, a degree certificate and postgraduate studies certificate certifying that the defendant has completed the postgraduate course and has successfully passed relevant exams, philosophy of science, foreign language, English, economics, Uh, exams, pass certificate, copy of the diploma, specialist, St. Petersburg State University of Telecommunications by Bonch Prijevic, issued June 4th, 2007, mass communications, master's degree, the copy of the master's degree, issued to Konstantin Belarusov. On, um, in 2011, certifying that Mr. Belosov is a Master of Economics, the dissertation in Russian and English languages, a hard copy and a soft copy. 
All the documents submitted. Uh, comply with provision 12, section 3. Mr. Belarusov, the floor is yours now. Thank you so much. Distinguished colleagues, may I present my dissertation uh, under the title of Business as a Factor of Sustainable Development. My dissertation has been formulated in accordance with Russian and international tradition. It refers to the conceptual basis of the social responsibility of businesses and sustainability, as well as the institutionalization of social responsibility. This is the scope of references that I relied on. The basis, the information obtained were the data provided by various associations, managers' associations, the um, economic politics department of St. Petersburg State University. My dissertation is an analysis of 195 non-financial reports of companies from 2003 to 2016, the companies which are in the register of non-financial reporting. So you can see the list of companies that I analyzed. They are split here by sectors, by industries, as it is encapsulated in the non-financial reporting register. I utilized the content analysis, the Rosenbaum triangle analysis, so as to expand the principle of inclusiveness. This analysis allowed me to identify the specific properties of business development in Russia as well as the specific properties of sustainable approach. The objectives of the dissertation are to justify the contribution of business as a social institution at the level of business organizations. So you see the subject of the research, the object of the research presented on the slide. In order to fulfill the objectives, we set forth the following goals. The most important of them being the goal to articulate the social responsibility of business as a social and economic institution, to articulate the social responsibility of business as a social and business organization, as well as to identify approaches implemented by Russian businesses in practice, as well as potential challenges that they have to step up to on their way towards sustainable development. We also suggested the following phrasing for theoretical and practical relevance of the research. The theoretical relevance is the development of the concept of sustainable development of a business organization. The practical relevance is the ability to utilize the findings in setting forth a corporate strategy for development. This method can be utilized in financial reporting. Other conclusions of the dissertation could be incorporated into various educational courses and, and curricula. Those are listed on the slide, macroeconomics, introduction to management, sustainable development, and so many others. As, we, as a result, we formulated the following conclusions subject to defense. The key of them are the following. To stipulate what stands behind social responsibility, to suggest a comprehensive approach to sustainable development, specific criteria, to elaborate the role of businesses in social responsibility as well as its influence on sustainable development of companies, and lastly, to implement the principles of sustainable development and to identify potential challenges that businesses might encounter. We also developed a set of recommendations, general recommendations, to this end. 
contemporary approaches to sustainable development, the analysis of various views splits in three stages, the genesis, so the budding stage, the systematic stage, and the implementation stage. We also identified contemporary approaches to sustainable development and demonstrated their properties. Those are cluster approach, macro approach, multi-level approach, tri-unity approach, and a comprehensive approach. The link between sustainable development concept and corporate sustainability has been demonstrated. And to this end, we admit that sustainable development of businesses may influence corporate sustainability and global sustainability. Sustainable businesses influence on a micro and a macro level this relates to sustainability of society and sustainability of uh, industries by way of capitalization and higher profitability. Social responsibility of businesses is a key factor to ensure sustainability. It extrapolates on various dimensions of business activities. We successfully galvanized the social responsibility of businesses as a social institution. This actually represents a set of regulations, measures, and limits that shape the behaviors of businesses and their actions. We successfully identified general as well as specific functions of social responsibility of businesses presented on the slide. We also disclosed the institutional property of businesses that includes formalizations, the system of sanctions and compliance measures, expansions of social responsibility of businesses institution and the limits of this expansion. Those are stakeholders and interested parties, as well as the implementation of new regulations, law enforcement, and updating mechanisms, which means disseminating information across businesses and demonstrating case studies of socially responsible behavior. This comprehensive approach is shortly represented on the slide. The dissertation suggests criteria for sustainable development of an organization, including the balance, balanced principles, integrity, of corporate strategy, systematic activity, compliance criteria, which means that objectives should correspond to the goals of sustainable development, accountability. Corporate accountability is closely related to sustainable development and communicative principle, which means transparency and interaction with stakeholders, which is highly crucial. The interpretation of sustainable development, as well as the analysis of sustainable development principles, allowed to identify a set of factors. Sustainable development factors are phenomena and processes the drivers behind sustainable development of businesses. The, these numerous factors are categorized and this structure 
this classification of these factors is found on in my dissertation. The key management factors are social responsibility mindset, integration of social responsibility into business strategy and management. Other external factors include formalized measures, requirements, environmental measures, and the uh, and state incentives to promote development of civil society. Based on this content analysis method and the non-financial reporting, the dissertation identifies specific properties of sustainable development that are peculiar to Russian context. Those are compliance with integrity and the communicative principle. The transition to sustainable development is impossible when there is violation of social responsibility. The dissertation identifies specific challenges in reporting. Most important of those are absence of specific classification in reporting. The violation of GHR4 standard. Inaccurate reporting patterns in sustainable development because these reporting practices lack a comprehensive approach. The dissertation identifies a set of issues that Russian businesses have to face in their transition to sustainable development. The key of those are the dominance of short-term indicators that are exacerbated by short-term macroeconomic instability. As well as relation and the attitudes to sustainable development among businesses as to a formal property enhancement of transparency and openness, a narrow understanding of business functions as well as the sustainable development as a concept, absence of drivers for sustainable development, and a favorable environment. As a result, I decided to put together a set of recommendations to alleviate these issues. These recommendations are split into three directions. The first group is uh, covers business organizations. The second one covers local municipal bodies. And the third group covers financial reporting organizations. So the last group covers business organizations as well. It is just an umbrella uh, group. Therefore, what I urge to do is to galvanize existing national standards to be very precise in identifying sustainable development principles and building up strategies as, as well as relations between stakeholders. I suggest to disembark from understanding sustainable development as a travesty as a formality as for financial reporting, non-financial reporting correction in sustainable development, businesses should uh, notarize their reports and should draw a distinction between financial reporting and social responsibility reporting. The present dissertation sh demonstrates that sustainable development and tools to analyze and measure this process is yet in the budding. It is highly relevant. The research identified different approaches implemented by businesses in order to 
embark on sustainable development path. To this end, this makes the issue of sustainable development highly pivotal. Thank you. Alexander Larkin now has the floor. Um, you mentioned several times that uh, corporate social responsibility uh, is what makes a corporation sustainable, stable. Uh, and uh, in your discussion of the um, aims pursued by corporate activities, you specify that classical um, economists uh, are sl somewhat skeptical about it. And Friedman claims that uh, the sustainable um, uh, firm, a sustainable company, is one that doesn't uh, waste its resources. So I would like you to um, uh, review the following experience. In the 1990s, Russian, um, uh, Russian companies um, uh, did use to uh, neglect the uh, the social sphere. So those that had uh, social uh, social schemes uh, dropped out of the market. Why didn't uh, um, the social sphere? Why didn't the social scheme um, uh, prove efficient uh, in that context? This, uh, thank you for your question. Uh, it's um, it was really interesting. So um, everything depends on what society really wants. Uh, there is a concept of social demand. Everything depends on the stage of the development of society, whether it's a civil society, which uh, unfortunately uh, we uh, are now lacking. Uh, back in the 1990s, the social demands were really very modest in terms of social policy, in terms of corporate social responsibility and everything that flows from it. This was largely due to the uh, very severe, serious uh, macroeconomic situation. Uh, the huge system of um, social uh, social support uh, was a burden to uh, many companies at the time of conversion at the t uh, to market economy. For a simple reason, society, in my opinion, did not require that, did not demand that. And uh, this burden uh, was seen as uh, superfluous and had to um, and had to be given up. However, nowadays priorities are changing and society is interested in things like um, the conditions of labor, labor conditions, not only salaries. Much depends uh, on the social demand, on what society wants. Some things that were superfluous uh, in those days uh, could be seen as a burden. Mr. Rezanov, I would like to uh, follow up on the question uh, asked by Alexander. So you link the problem of corporate social responsibility with societal demands. What I would like to ask is, how does corporate social responsibility um, um, relate to the aims of business, uh, including uh, uh, including finding one's niche on the market, uh, expanding this niche, uh, obtaining profits? Uh, so this is where the problem arises. Thank you for your question. Yes, these are interrelated factors. If society, uh, there are a number of works, um, economic works, some of which are quoted, referenced in the dissertation. There was an, uh, an interesting discussion on the following subject. CSR must be paid for by the consumer. So the consumer agreeing to buy uh, a socially responsible, an ethical product uh, must be able to pay a little extra. So Western society agrees with this model. However, in difficult economic contexts, under economic turbulence, like today, people frequently give up this additional burden and uh, get a, a certain competitive edge as a result. So everything depends on uh, the demands of society, on what is required by society. Yes, Alexander, uh, Mr. Mr. Konayev, you're welcome. You are writing about concepts associated with uh, 
corporate social responsibility, including positive, uh, positive economy. Could you describe some uh, positive economy? Um, positive economy. Uh, how does it uh, mirror uh, see, uh, your subject, and how, it is, uh, how is it related to corporate social development? and sustainable development. Uh, thank you for your question. Uh, we have uh, indeed considered uh, several concepts uh, pertaining to corporate social responsibility. Um, and we were uh, governed by one simple hypothesis. All of these concepts are linked and all of them are related. All of them um, consider socially responsible behavior. Uh, economy uh, is uh, related by sustainable development. Uh, and all, the, all of the concepts outlined in uh, paragraph 1.4 uh, support this stance. Uh, we take these approaches, we analyze them individually, and find out that the authors do not deny that sustainable development is highly important, uh, that, uh, the, uh, that businesses um, aim to be agents of change, they aim to be drivers of progress, and all of these approaches uh, that we consider are fairly similar, uh, which is very impressive. Any more questions? After no more questions, can we announce reviews by members of the Dissertation Council? I had the list, so I would like to thank the, the floor first, and then we follow up on our agenda. Mr. Belousov, I read your. I have read several versions of your dissertation, from the early ones to this near perfect one. And uh, your dissertation has progressed to uh, a theoretical rather than practical work. I do consider that your last version of your study is sufficiently good. After several words of praise, I need to ask a question. A question that relates to what has been said today and to what you have been asked today. Indeed, when we talk of CSR, your dissertation follows and analyzes the technical science of this matter, which are important and are easily verifiable. Uh, given the abundance of data uh, generated by Russian and especially foreign researchers. However, uh, when uh, common people, consumers, uh, talk of CSR, they mean uh, social responsible behavior in the part of uh, the companies. Professor Friedman mentioned that uh, a company can be called socially responsible if it uh, uh, creates uh, uh, quality products and com uh, complies with the existing legislation. Nothing else is needed. The rest is superfluous. So what do you think about the fact that companies can be socially responsible according to uh, the existing methodologies uh, and yet add uh, olive oil or plant oil to butter? instead of cream. Uh, so is it a, a breach of corporate social responsibility? Um, uh, no responses needed. Um, the uh, next speaker on our agenda is um, Alexander Kanaev. You have five minutes. I would like to briefly um, describe this work uh, in terms of the subject, problems of uh, governance. 
and uh, it's a fairly uh, mainstream uh, work for uh, the Faculty of Economics. It's uh, uh, ICC Force. Uh, we have had ICC Force or the fifth conference uh, on uh, sustainable development, headed by Professor Bogomazov. So uh, the problem uh, is becoming uh, really popular at our faculty. However, this is the first dissertation that uh, is consistent uh, uh, with uh, that follows uh, this mainstream subject. As for the key advantages theoretic and theoretical values of this work, uh, many uh, of its um, conclusions and provisions develop a little studied uh, direction of economic science, namely uh, uh, the theory of sustainable development of economic uh, organizations, as you call them. There are a number of theoretical um, premises that extend our understanding of uh, CSR. Today, it's become commonplace to uh, speak of socially responsible business. Uh, it's become de rigueur. And um, s there is a managerial component to it, from um, uh, global things to applied components. Um, as far as this little studied area is concerned, the key uh, advantage of the um, uh, dissertation, his personal contribution, is his attempt to research uh, social responsible business as an economic and organizational institution, including um, uh, a set of norms and regulations uh, reflecting the established rules of business operations. And I think, very interestingly, he considers um, specific working procedures, operational procedures related to decision making on the strategic and uh, tactical uh, levels uh, with respect to corporate social responsibility. As far as, as the theoretical aspects of the work are concerned, uh, the uh, analysis of concept, uh, concepts associated with CSR uh, is indeed really interesting, including uh, conscious uh, economy, conscious capitalism. And I was also interested in uh, the recommendations that you are making. Not all of them are new. But what I liked and what is presented in the slides is that they're presented as a diagram. Uh, the only uh, remark is part three. Uh, the, uh, re the reporting, um, uh, uh, th there is a group of the, uh, the uh, there is a governmental group, a business group, as far as the information on transparency and rep uh, recording reporting transparency is concerned. Uh, this is where uh, business and governments intersect. I uh, didn't quite understand your approach to uh, the terms concept uh, or approach. Uh, sometimes you use them interchangeably, which you shouldn't. And my second remark concerns uh, socially responsible behavior and socially responsible thinking of a corporation, something that you mention a lot. I would like you to clarify uh, these uh, terms. I would like you to show us how they overlap to what extent. Uh, the work is an independent, completed, comprehensive um, uh, work um, uh, based on a problem uh, in uh, governance theory, and uh, it has uh, both scientific novel novelty and practical relevance. The uh, dissertation is consistent with the requirements uh, for PhD works, for PhD studies. Um, and our next speaker um, has the floor. Um, I have provided a written review, of course. Um, and uh, the only thing that I would like to point out is that in terms of relevance, in terms of um, importance, the uh, subject um, uh, presents some interest and is uh, defendable. And uh, the um, uh, work can be regarded as a qualifying uh, work in the field of economic theory. I would like to focus on some uh, critical remarks um, that emerge, naturally emerge, um, uh, during the reading of any, uh, any dissertation, any text, which are as follows. 
Mr. Bellow also links social responsibility with the problem of societal demand and uh, public interests um, existing in society. The uh, demand must, of course, be there, must be present. And uh, according to the approach uh, taken in the dissertation, uh, corporate social responsibility has to merge, uh, has to has to lead to the uh, emergence of um, uh, sustainable development. Um, I would like to correct. Uh, it's uh, it's more correct to, s to speak um, uh, of the links between CSR and uh, sustainable development. However, uh, it would be more correct to speak about uh, the links between CSR and uh, irresponsible behavior, lack of responsibility. Many of the provisions uh, in the uh, of your dissertation are justified, but life is life, and studying the institution of uh, social responsibility without studying social irresponsibility makes uh, the study makes it an incomplete study and so some corrections are needed uh, in uh, this respect I would also like to point out uh, another uh, interesting point useful point the historical traditions um, cherished by Russia Mr. Belousov uh, largely focuses on uh, the uh, modern problems, modern issues, uh, scientific issues uh, related to uh, market economy. However, uh, what I would like to point out is that Russia has accumulated an interesting experience studying uh, social responsibility in modern terminology. Uh, I would like to quote the following example. The uh, Prokhorov, the uh, the owner of the Trogornia uh, manufacturer in pre-revolutionary Russia, he came from a family of old believers, and uh, he paid a lot of attention to social issues. The manufacturer uh, had its own school, library, hospital, um, and even its own theater. I'm not uh, even talking about uh, a special dormitory for, for workers. Let us not forget that uh, during the pre-revolutionary times, in the pre-Soviet era, corporate social responsibility was there. Uh, the social experience of the Chogorne uh, manufacturer uh, uh, was awarded uh, uh, and all the achievements that were uh, made there were awarded a gold medal in the um, uh, 1900 uh, World Exhibition. The uh, work also uh, largely is largely based on uh, um, studies um, of corporate practice, uh, I was wondering uh, about whether it was um, uh, it was the right decision to uh, uh, use only the records of the Russian um, uh, Russian Union of Industrialists. Thank you. Well, we have I have five minutes only. Therefore, I would focus on key aspects. As for the originality, well, there are two subject areas. Uh, as for the first subject area, what I want to outline is the institu institutionalization and corporate responsibility. It is a whole bulk of work. So what we can see is the stages, the evolution process, the adoption of foreign uh, practices, why has this informal emerging institution has become so well vested, well rooted in Russian landscape? It is just because it relies on co social responsibility and it relies on some background and past practices that have been already there before it has arrived. So uh, this informal institution is gradually rendered into a formal one and is embodied in internal acts of social corporations. As for the uh, defendant's recommendations, well, here I would like to voice uh, some 
uh, criticism the idea of a standard, uh, the one that overlaps with uh, the with pricing. I mean, those who share these practices, they should not pay, they should be exempt of some payments, whereas those who do not pay, well, those who do not comply, well, then they should pay. This is indeed a good idea because otherwise, but, other, but, but it could be also direct manipulation. This is just playing a game with uh, public mindsets. I believe that in a society where there is a demand for some public standards, I think that this is just an institutionalization of some corporate pressure. I'm not sure how this would comply with uh, a fair competition and fair market development. But another uh, statement is um, about the assessment of social responsibility. I think that social responsibility uh, well is weakly related to risk management for a fine for a man from finances this would sound a little bit wondering because risk management is a very specific uh, area in finance there are people who are responsible for it who do the assessment the auditing of all the procedures the hedging the insurance schemes this is not what the defendant covers therefore i believe that this overlapping with risk management is not as obvious as the defendant claims overall my estimate my assessment is positive so i'm in favor thank you Well, the dissertation is highly relevant, and I would like to see more of such dissertations to be defended. It starts very, in a very exciting way, and is exciting to read. Well, there are some flaws, some major flaws, due to the fact that the defendant aspires to cover two subject area and this is what prevented the author from concentrating from focusing on one subject area and analyzing it deeply on the one hand it is a valuable contribution into our scholarly paradigms on the other hand the defendant uh, tries to escape from being specific by choosing some more generalized language. On the, on the third, the author positions himself as a socially oriented individual. But the but how would we achieve this social orientation, the social focus? But the author refers to various mechanisms, social mechanisms, like boycotting, social integrity mechanism, and inclusion. And therefore, what we see is that the consumer is pre presented with some biased information, which, to me, is something which, that violates the general logic of the dissertation. Apart from some advantages, there is a number of drawbacks and inaccuracies. Terminology is somewhat inaccurate, especially when the defendant speaks about strategies or strategic integrity. Well, and it is unclear to me what do these notions mean. It is also unclear 
why social responsibility of businesses is a tool for strategic planning. There was an entire scope of such uh, flaws, and those are the result of such generalized approach, such an umbrella approach. A number of key evidences are rely on the defendant's papers and not on papers of other peers and therefore they cannot be deemed as solid. Moreover, a number of provisions in originality are suspicious. I think some of them are superfluous because a portion of them are not new at all, so not original at all, or where an evidence is substituted by just facts. And lastly, may I proceed to the very research. It is valuable, but nevertheless, it is flawed. Well, companies may just imitate socially responsible behavior, play a game, and the author is silent about that. Moreover, some drawbacks are can be explained by such a scattered approach, whereas the dissertation overall is indeed an independent piece of research. It is an original uh, research that is a personal contribution of the author to academic tradition, and it is in compliance with the PhD awarding procedure, and the author deserves to be granted the inspired academic degree. Thank you, Yuri Miachin. Dear colleagues, I love this dissertation. It is integral, it is solid, it is conclusive, and it is relevant. Especially relevant is the is bringing together social responsibility and global development, and then rendering it into a factor of sustainable development. And this is what has been justified in the dissertation. I mean the fact that it is indeed one of the factors of sustainable development. A similar research has been recently done in our university. We looked at 150 Russian corporations and 50 international corporations, and we have traced their development over several decades in terms of sustainability, sustainability as a state, and sustainability as a process. We looked at the sustainability of their strategies the sustainability of their uh, comp competitive advantages. And here I should say with pleasure that our research and your research coincide. They are identical across some positions in the conclusion part, which justifies the relevance of your research and its truthfulness. When we compare different notions related to sustainable development, such classical researchers as Deferello, Medusa, Rello Pichy, we see that those are groundbreaking papers. And your conclusion on social responsibility of businesses was highly exciting for me. This is what I I'm so passionate about, because this is a moral, this is an ethical issue, this is a social issue. And this means that this issue is highly demanded 
by 21st century society. I, and I always look at the domestic tradition, the domestic academic tradition. And here I saw Vernadsky's theory, papers by Nikita Moiseev. Those are the drivers of our de sustainable development. Those are the engine. As for the floors, well, if you want to, if you have an intention, you can you can always find many flaws, but my view, my take was global. There's one matter that I do, I'm discordant with you. You write that on a macro level, sustainable development is no more of a problem. It is exhausted as a problem. Well, it's not like that. Things are different, actually. Otherwise, this would mean that there is no way forward. Or probably this was just a slap of the tongue or a mistake. Well, I'm not going to argue with you. But overall, this is a solid research, and thank you very much for it. Galina Grekova. Well, I would like to support Yuri. Now, it is clear to me why he had to develop, to go through such a long way to come up with this dissertation. Yuri covers two major issues, social responsibility of businesses and sustainable development. Social responsibility of businesses is a subject of research uh, across all sorts of dimensions. But what Yuri has done is indeed impressive because he brought together social responsibility and sustainable development. And he analyzed sustainable development through social responsibility, thus transforming it from macro analysis into a micro analysis. And this is what usually researchers arrive at. But Yuri is nevertheless innovative in his approach because he suggests to look at social responsibility of businesses through its impact on sustainable development of the organization. And to this end, Yuri had to be very careful about terminology. So the dialectology is there because these two concepts are very difficult to discriminate. The defendant suggests to look at them as paired categories. He provides definitions for each category and outlines what is common, what is different. Well, if we, if we interpret social responsibility as a very specific social institution that is tailored to motivations and the principles of sustainable development. I should note that the defendant's contribution into the process of rendering social responsibility into an institution 
which would include formalization, law enforcement, as well as sanctions that are starting to emerge to be able to manage these measures. Well, this is discordant with voluntary social responsibility of businesses principle because social responsibility is a voluntary contribution of businesses irrespective of regulations and rules to expand the formalization dimension here we will we could include many other definitions and refer to a whole litany of limits while well, speaking about the mechanisms that promote institutionalization of social responsibility of businesses we should focus on the fact that Yuri reiterates that here we need incentives relevant drivers that are responsible for this pro process, that fuel this process. Well, actually, I failed to find some practical ways, some practical suggestions of what these incentives should look like in Russian practice. What else? The dissertation is highly exciting. Yuri looks at differences between sustainability and sustainable development by saying that sustainability is a state, whereas sustainable development is a process to arrive at this state. I think that this is a simplification because the interaction between these two categories is much more complicated. Sustainable development would not always result in sustainability. In contrast, sustainability can be achieved without any sustainable development. So to this end, I think that we should look at the sustainable development of a company uh, not from the view of some indices and indicators but we should look at the dynamics at the fluctuation of these indications and their values so how they fluctuate if these fluctuations are within the trend, then we can label it as sustainable development. And lastly, the objectives of a company are also mentioned in the dissertation, uh, but this reference is so vague. Yuri says that short-term periods are, are there to maximize profit. But when we look at long-term periods in terms of objectives, this is long-term sustainable development. This is the ultimate goal. And lastly, may I note that overall, the dissertation is well justified and evidence-based. It is comprehensive and complete, and it is this comprehensive approach that is allowed to uh, represent the object of research in such a multifaceted mode. The dissertation is in compliance with all the requirements, and this is all uh, stipulated in my report. Thank you. A lot has been said um, about the originality of the dissertation. I would like to add something more. <laughs> uh, 
the concept of social uh, corporate social responsibility is well studied. Uh, some of the dissertations have been uh, written at our university. However, uh, CSR in the context of sustainable development uh, is an innovation and uh, an innovation that is highly relevant. The concept of a sustainable development of the Russian Federation uh, was signed by President Boris Yeltsin. And uh, in terms of the three uh, tri tripartite um, approach, um, the concept had to uh, ensure um, the natural potential and to develop the social sphere of the Russian Federation. As we have been uh, explained, uh, this um, approach um, uh, is highly relevant. However, um, uh, it was um, also severely criticized. Uh, as uh, Elena Feoktistova, director for um, um, of the VSO Alkapi Pay Center, um, uh, noted a new uh, sustainable development concept is being developed now in Russia uh, with a predominance of environmental components. However, as we know now, the, uh, the environmentally systemic approach is an approach that has uh, uh, that is absolutely valid. And uh, this uh, is another proof um, of the high relevance of the dissertation being defended here today. Uh, um, uh, our uh, defendant introduced uh, three clauses uh, describing uh, the novelty of the dissertation, uh, which incorporates the development of uh, reporting, financial and non-financial reporting. On the 15th of May, a concept of development of public non-financial uh, reporting uh, was approved by the government. The concept specifies companies uh, that uh, are obliged to publish non-financial reporting, um, and uh, companies uh, will be taught, will be schooled in corporate social responsibility. And uh, this is yet another proof to the fact that the dissertation is highly, uh, highly relevant. I was very impressed by the amount of material analyzed in the dissertation. The researcher has paid respect to both Russian and international scientists and scholars. Uh, Mr. Belousov uh, draws from 300 uh, published sources, both Russian and international, which is a major asset. At the same time, the work has certain flaws that I want to focus on. Um, as uh, Victor has pointed out here today, the CSR uh, institution is a transplant. Um, this is something that we definitely used to have um, uh, before the revolution countered to the statement, uh, including Drogonia manufacturer. The second statement is uh, is uh, stopping um, enforcing corporate social uh, responsibility and focusing on the development of civil uh, of civil society. You should have suggested uh, certain um, regulatory uh, measures. You should have suggested them, probably drawing on European experience. And my third comment is related to the concept of social development, sustainable development as a paradigm uh, which uh, replaces the CSR concept. This is something that I'm dissatisfied with. I think you failed to provide sufficient uh, evidence for it. Uh, these remarks are of a debatable and probably subjective nature. The dissertation uh, on the whole uh, is consistent with the uh, requirement for PhD dissertation and the, uh, its author merits the uh, PhD degree in the uh, respective subject field. Konstantin Golubev now has the floor. Uh, the uh, review was submitted uh, as per the procedure. I'm going to focus on the key um, 
on the key points, I want to say a couple of words about the relevance, about the author's achievement, um, achievements, and uh, give several critical comments. Of course, um, concepts like sustainable development in CSR uh, reflect the uh, vector in the development of modern economy, which um, of course means that the work discussed here today uh, is highly relevant. Um, what deserves attention is uh, the following, the classification and analysis of the key approaches to sustainable development. Uh, mo some modern um, approaches to uh, CSR have been studied, including uh, the uh, identification of the um, uh, similarities and differences with the uh, concept of the social development and responsibility of business. And CSR is presented here as uh, a factor in sustainable development of business. On the basis of non-financial uh, reporting problems and issues of uh, sustainable developments of Russian business organizations have been outlined. And now several um, critical comments. Uh, I would say it would be useful to focus in more detail on the uh, interests of stakeholders and um, on the potential uh, impacts of stakeholder interests on the activities of the business organizations, which would be highly relevant uh, in our discussion uh, of the issues uh, respective the uh, uh, social responsibility. Uh, also, uh, you should have focused on the uh, transition of uh, uh, Russian business organizations to sustainable development. On the whole, the provisions uh, outlined and described in the dissertation are evidence-based, well-founded. Uh, they display scientific novelty and practical relevance. So the dissertation submitted by Konstantin Belousov uh, definitely complies with the requirements of the uh, regulation for the award of PhD degrees at St. Petersburg State University. So the author uh, merits the uh, degree sort. Th thank you very much. Um, Konstantin, uh, you now have the floor to respond to the uh, to the critical comments. Thank you very much for your questions. Um, most of them... Um, most of these questions um, of the uh, months, uh, months and years I have been working uh, on the dissertation um, uh, have uh, intrigued me. I have tried to uh, respond to them, and I uh, do believe that uh, I have um, had some success in, uh, in this field. Uh, I would like to uh, respond to the question related to the scientific discussion respective to uh, CSR. And of course, uh, until today, this discussion is highly relevant because um, any business person, any entrepreneur uh, is going to ask oneself, why should I take this extra burden? Why should I take those uh, extra uh, take on extra expenditures when I can avoid them? And uh, a classical question arises. Uh, we are taught that uh, maximize, uh, that business is about maximizing profit, uh, but uh, it seems that I am assuring it isn't. Um, Professor Friedman um, is referenced in the dissertation in the in connection with corporate um, selfishness or corporate uh, egotism concept. Uh, we, uh, I probably should have focused on this concept a bit more single-mindedly while I was considering this discussion. Uh, however, um, I was fairly limited for for space. Um, uh, However, uh, Dr. Friedman's opinion is still relevant. Uh, there are still discussions and debates, even though uh, the uh, concept was first formulated years and years ago. Uh, I hope that this answers your question. Mr. Alexander Konayev made um, a very shrewd uh, comment about uh, approaches, theories, and concepts. Uh, this problem is highly relevant. When we started CSR, uh, I uh, found that there are certain terms that um, apparently contradict the logic. For example, 
uh, there is a trend to uh, to name stakeholder approach a concept. So this is something that I think uh, confuses the reader, uh, and this uh, is a disadvantage of my work that I can admit to. As for uh, uh, as for uh, socially responsible thinking or mentality um, is concerned, uh, I first encountered this term in uh, 2008 when uh, we first uh, our department first um, initiated a study of corporate social responsibilities among uh, different companies in St. Petersburg. And uh, this term also occurred in the 2015 study of the High School of Economics. It turned out that if a manager doesn't have any social responsible thinking, uh, there will be no CSR. Because unfortunately, uh, one that governs a big business, a big company, is the one that determines what the policy of the company is going to be, of this business is going to be. And this is a huge problem until today. I um, uh, I accept all the other uh, comments that you made. Uh, Mr. Uh, Viktor Rizanov, there are three comments, and I think all of them are relevant in one way or the other. As for social irresponsibility, uh, the term indeed exists and is actively used today. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't consider it for one simple reason, because we didn't um, uh, formulate uh, this goal or, ob or objective to analyze irresponsibility. Also, uh, this um, concept and this phenomenon uh, is uh, really promising as a research subject. As far as Russian historical legacy is uh, concerned, and it was mentioned in three of the reviews, the Institute of CSR, of course, can be viewed as a transplant. Uh, but it was granted onto um, a, a well-prepared substrate. Um, a lot of strong comments were made about uh, transplanted institutes uh, or, or institutions being grafted onto an empty space. Uh, however, uh, there were a number of uh, manufacturers, there were a number of factories historically uh, that um, indeed practiced socially responsible behavior, opened schools, opened hospitals, uh, provided the social infrastructure. In, mo in most of the cases, however, uh, um, the, uh, such, manufactured, uh, such manufacturers were mainly isolated cases. Um, there is um, a Forbes list called uh, 30 Richest Russians uh, 2014. And if we analyze this list, we will find out that these uh, 30 um, surnames, the 30 people uh, that are on the list, are patrons of us, one way or the other. Um, Shukin or Tretikov uh, were awarded hereditary um, nobility and aristocratic ranks. They were knighted. Uh, and uh, s that was the period, uh, the beginning of the 20th century, I mean, uh, was the t time when uh, our legal framework, the Russian legislation, was far more advanced compared to that in Europe. However, unfortunately, the period that came after it showed that um, all of this was only viable uh, in the context of the state policy. So corporate social responsibility um, is a colossal system, a wise policy that used to be there. Unfortunately, there was a period of trouble and turmoil uh, when uh, this approach was not practiced. And at the beginning of the um, millennium, uh, the, uh, this interesting uh, uh, institution of corporate social responsibility was grafted onto the uh, Russian soil. And uh, I, it is still not clear how it is going to um, uh, develop. Why did I choose the Russian Union of uh, uh, Industrialists and uh, its non-financial reporting? Uh, 
I wanted to avoid uh, issues with uh, uh, the representative nature of the sample. The uh, non-financial reporting normally includes scientific articles, research publications, uh, and certain uh, non-financial reports uh, from various years. I uh, thought a lot about this issue and to avoid the potential difficulties, I decided to uh, study all the 195 um, uh, reports, non-financial reports available and submitted to the Russian Union of Industrialists. The quality of these, um, the quality uh, of these uh, reports uh, varied. Uh, I'm, uh, of course, not answerable to them, uh, answerable for it. And uh, the reports have been submitted to uh, to audit, and they comply uh, with the established requirement of the Russian Union. Um, Alexander, the questions that you asked were fairly uh, interesting. His, uh, the historical legacy uh, was mentioned. Um, again, uh, I have partly commented on this issue, and uh, I think uh, I can move forward. As for the social risks uh, and governance risks, uh, this is one of the most interesting issues that uh, wasn't considered by uh, myself. And um, this uh, was done uh, for a reason, because the subject is very deep. It requires equally in-depth treatment. And this is something that I wasn't ready for. I didn't have enough knowledge or expertise to do that. Uh, but in many publications, This example of co corporate social responsibility and financial risks is uh, brought up. Uh, the word combination of uh, non-financial risks and corporate social responsibility is indeed very common. However, um, I decided to steer clear of this topic because of its complexity. And uh, there are some uh, ethical issues that were pointed out as an element of risk management. Manipulation by consumers or consumer man manipulation. It's uh, hard to say, uh, it's hard to speak about um, consumer manipulation through CSR and uh, barriers at market entry. However, uh, this uh, re uh, this outcome is entirely possible if CSR uh, reaches high level in this country and uh, legislation, detailed legislation, um, is adopted, more detailed than that available in France or Britain. Then they arise certain non-economic barriers. On the other hand, uh, is that necessarily bad development? I wouldn't say so. Um, if these companies uh, enter the market and this mechanism works as it should, uh, the, this will uh, be um, uh, a good development on the market. Uh, I hope that I haven't omitted everything and that this answers your question. Well, once again, risks. Well, should I elaborate this issue? Should I dwell on it or not? And again, boycotts. Boycotts uh, for consumers, moral boycotts. It's an exciting topic. However, you failed to look, look at it in greater detail. Uh, consumer boycotts used to be there uh, I can refer to one uh, consumer boycott in, uh, in the year 2010, and I uh, know that all of you are updated as to what these events were about. So this is what is related to risks, because of course a socially irresponsible company, what's more, a socially responsible company that has been 
uh, whose social irresponsibility has been identified and exposed, it can, well, indeed, suffer a lot. I very much fancy your idea that what we have in the report should not necessarily be the truth, should not necessarily be the real state of thing. I absolutely agree with you. This example is not included into the register, in the Federal Register, the financial report on the Raspotskaya mine. If you look at the non-financial reports and their history, you would be impressed by the measure of falsity when top management claim that their key activity is labor safety. And after that, after this catastrophe happened, the inspectors, the federal inspectors, identified that there was no lab safety of labor at all. Well, yes, indeed, reporting. So what is there in the report and what we have in reality, those could be two different things apart. The third chapter looks at the mimicry of corporate responsibility, the availability of information from the Internet, and the minimal costs to make this report through to the stakeholders. All of that is highly can be impregnated with a potential flaws, dramatic flaws implicit flaws. And in that case, uh, this could result not in consequences, but in predicaments. Uh, all the reports that we looked at were verified, and they were through public listenings, public hearing. So, yes, we cannot provide answer in this to this end, and I hope that you are satisfied. Uh, my response to Mr. Miachin. Well, yes, indeed. Uh, what you disliked is the uh, statement that the sustainable development concept is done on a macro level, this is its limit. Well, you should understand that it is not the ultimate limit. And as you justly note, well, both of them are two sides of the same coin. Yes, indeed, I agree. And you also uh, mentioned that I do not look at the events that took place over the last 15 years. Yes, this is indeed how it is. Because at that very time, this concept started to transform to a micro level. Of course, I remember the Rio 20 plus and a very exciting document. I did regret that we failed to mention it. Uh, I mean, the document set f defining that finally in 2015, the girls of sustainable development, the 17 girls were identified with an another agenda uh, all the way to 2030 being issued. Madam Grekova, your question uh, to the formalization of accounting and financial reporting. Yes, it's indeed a challenge. The fact that this uh, reporting is voluntary uh, well, we have European practices, France, Britain, in the UK, as you know, until 2010, we had a minister, a relevant minister, from 2000 to 2010. 
So I believe that here it would be unjust to say that UK companies ceased to be socially responsible, that now they are limited by non-economic obstacles. Well, I believe that this is a matter of how you implement it. Promoting these processes is again uh, a problem because what we have is just general recommendations. Those are just the tip of an iceberg, concealing highly complicated mechanisms. It is a subject for a comprehensive large-scale research, but this was not my objective. So I decided not to go into that. And therefore, my approach is that generalized. But I think that this is a good outlook for the future, for me. As for the objectives, well, you emphasize that the for any company, the ultimate long-term goal is long-term sustainable development. Well, I agree with that. I take it. Are you satisfied? Madam Pataiva? Well, again, your question on the transplanted institution. This is one of the most relevant burning questions. There is ample background to that. And here, I think I would rather agree with you that this is indeed, this belongs to transplanted institutions. Now, how to drive civil society? It's a good question. We know all too well that in terms of corporate social responsibility, the civil society should be there to to implement its civil monitoring. Well, as from the perspective of the state, there are lots of solutions and all of them suit us. I think it would be reasonable to focus on it, and this is what is covered by the recent legislation. Moreover, there is such a thing as non-financial reports, but few people know about that. Any uh, stakeholder, a worker, a customer could go online and read what non-financial reporting is about. Well, indeed, we claim that new reporting practices are stepping forward. Corporate and social responsibility reports are quite often substituted uh, by inaccurately by sustainability reports. This is what we saw in 2007-2008 when uh, we saw a kind of hybrid reports bringing together corporate responsibility reports and sustainability reports. But the trend is there. This is a transition from corporate and social responsibility to sustainability reporting. This is what is manifested very clearly in oil and gas sector. So we see how companies are changing their priorities. Are you satisfied? Okay, Mr. Golubev. Yes, indeed. It would be highly useful to look at stakeholders and their interests. Uh, I'm very much into stakeholder management, so this is an exciting uh, topic for me. Um, my initial objective was to look into this area kind of uh, from a surface perspective, not to go without going deeply. But I think I would manage to do that in my future. Well, shall I elaborate more on my responses? 
Anyone from non-members of the dissertation board willing to take the floor? None of those may now give the floor to the research supervisor, Madam Sudova. Please, the mic is there. It is waiting for you. No, please do use the mic, otherwise interpretation will be impossible. Interpreters urge you to use the mic. Distinguished chair, distinguished members of the dissertation board, shall I approach closer? Well, I'm not going to speak about advantages and disadvantages of the dissertation, but I should emphasize the enormous professionalism of the dissertation board in identifying flaws and advantages. I think I should not say any, a word uh, in these terms, but I would like to uh, dwell on personal, professional qualities of Konstantin, and those really deserve mentioning because Konstantin uh, has huge capacity. He is a hard-working person. He is very solid because he can uh, face challenges. He is open for discussion. He can assert his position and overwhelming and passionate uh, attitude to what he is doing. Well, if I may uh, do comparisons, I would like to mention classical words that the defense that all the stakeholders have been discussing for so long has actually emerged, it has been delivered on. Well, profession, in professional terms, we see galvanizing of human capital, and this is great for Russian science. Thank you very much. I think we can announce a break. We are going to have uh, just some uh, counseling session, and others can have a rest.
okay? According to the rules of procedure, we are now having an open voting by name. So today we held the meeting of the dissertation board to consider the dissertation by Konstantin Bileusov, Business as a Factor of Sustainable Development, submitted in compliance with the requirements to the PhD awarding procedure in the subject area economic theory, economic uh, theory and management. And now it is time for us to vote and to voice our opinions, whether pass or fail. Therefore, may I be the first to take the floor? I'm the first on the list. I'm in favor. In favor of awarding the aspired PhD degree in economics in the declared subject area. Mr. Kanaev, in favor. In favor. Mr. Lakin. Colleagues, I'm in favor. Mr. Pashkus, in favor. Mr. Miachin, in favor. Ms. Madam Grekova, in favor. Madam Pataeva, I'm in favor. And Alexei, in favor. Yes. Okay. Our meeting is over. Thank you very much for your attention. Oh, your concluding statement. Mr. Belarusov, you should deliver your concluding remarks. Well, well have, I do not have to deliver my conclusive remarks. I want to. I'm highly grateful, sincerely grateful to all the reviewers for consideration of my dissertation, for your time to come here to read the dissertation, to write a review, and to be present here. This is highly valuable to me. I would like to extend my gratitude to all those present here. Your support is crucial for me. I extend my gratitude to St. Petersburg State University for the opportunity of organizing the defense. This is the first defense in a whole litany of events to follow at the economic faculty. I would like also to express how grateful I am to the Faculty of Ec Economics, St. Petersburg State University, its top management, the dean, and all of the staff of the faculty. I'm also grateful to my a research supervisor, Mr. Prigarin. Unfortunately, he expired before my defense and Madam Sudova as well, who provided a follow-up support, leading me all the way through to this victory. I'm also highly grateful to Madam Kanaeva for her continuous support and help, as well as all the faculty of the department and the staff I'm grateful to all of you. I'm grateful to the university. And I believe that this is just a start. This is a first dissertation to be followed by a sequence of other highly exciting, passionate defenses. I'm so happy to have this defense organized in my mother university, in my alma mater. So we extend our congratulations to you. So may I declare the uh, first meeting uh, closed. And I believe that this first defense was successful. We are within the time limit. I declare the meeting adjourned. Thank you very much for your attention.